and this bolster is really dense and heavy and thick and represents chronic pain. This represents my pain and I did used to suffer with chronic neck pain and so I know exactly how that feels and, and it's a very solid, hard thing. And what I'd like you to do is to think about what we have just been discussing about if someone was suffering with chronic pain, what perhaps would be the outcome of that? So the things that are in that other column. And what I'd like you to do is individually, one at a time, to take hold of one of these uh, blocks or bolsters or anything, and push it around the room or whatever. Take hold of one and just put it on my chronic pain. And so we're going to do that one at a time, but in between you putting it on there, I'm just gonna say a couple of things about so it might be that one of you comes and picks it up and puts it on and says tired, tired or exhausted and then I would say something about that and then you would go, as I was saying it, you would go back and sit at your seat, okay? So we're just getting into kind of a rhythm of it, you don't have to come up if you don't want to, um, but we're just going to take it one at a time to put one of those um, unavo uh, avoidable or secondary suffering on top of here. So who would like to start? Suicidal. I feel absolutely so desperate about my pain. Nobody understands. Nobody knows how hard I've tried to get rid of my pain. And there's just nothing else I can do about it. I'm, I may as well just end my life. It's just so completely hopeless and desolate a situation. Emotional. And I get so emotional about it. And I haven't got anybody I can really talk to about it, really, because... Nobody else understands it, and everybody says that, oh, it'll work out all right. They have no idea how awful the situation is. And, and actually, all I can do pretty much is just be on my own and cry and cry and cry. Isolating. And because nobody else really understands it, I feel like I, I'm the only one in the world who's suffering like this, and I've got nobody to talk to. I mean, I've got lovely family and things, but I can only talk about it so much. And I go to my doctor, but he's sick to death of hearing me talking about my pain. And they, I just feel like there's, I'm so separate to everybody. You know, I feel it's just a desperate situation. And I, I feel like um, I'm the only one who is experiencing this and everybody else is having such a wonderful, lovely, full and rich life and I'm just here on my own suffering and crying and feeling de so desperate I just want to end it all and it, I just feel such a victim of this situation and I just don't know what else to do. And I'm really, really scared because if I feel like this way now, what's my going to be like in a month or a year? I've got nothing to look forward to. I'm just becoming less and less of who I was. I'm losing all sense of myself. And I'm just like a gibbering wreck all the time. It's really depressing to be with. And I'm so scared about the future, which is why I may as well just end it all right now. I, I blame myself really because I could have dealt with it differently or perhaps if I just pulled my socks up I could sort myself out but I just feel so sad and scared and isolated that oh god I feel really guilty as well I just blame myself for having this pain perhaps if I'd lived my life differently I wouldn't have had so much and is there something I could have done about it oh I just feel it's all my fault Tired. I'm so tired. I'm tired of talking about it, thinking about it, not sleeping at night because I'm in such agony and I'm really exhausted in the day. I'm just tired on every single level. It's in my bones and every cell of my body, this feeling of deep, deep exhaustion. And Grumpy with everybody and everything, and mainly myself. I just there's nothing else that I think I can do about it, and I'm just always on edge and I'm snapping at my family who are only trying their best, and I'm just in such a bad mood all the 
time. And then I started to learn about mindfulness and started to be a bit kinder to myself and started to realize actually maybe it's not completely my fault that I've got this pain and that actually if I take a little bit of care and look after myself maybe if I pace myself a little bit more and I do see that other people are suffering as well maybe not with exactly the same pain as I've got but that other people have so many difficult things to deal with. And I started through my meditation practice and going to a group to recognize that and connect with other people and realize that actually people really do care for you as a fellow human being and for all that you're suffering with. And over time, many, many months, I started to recognize that actually I could let go of a lot of that suffering and although I still had my pain, I had such a better, fuller, richer quality of life and I felt like I was myself once more.